Good day to all of you students. This is teacher Edwin once again and I'm here to discuss two topics. I'm going to discuss multiplication and division. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Unbelievable and if you are new, please don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell. Remember, math is always fun. Our lesson for today will be all about multiplication and division. But before that, I would like to introduce to you first the words that I would like you to remember. In multiplication, factors and product. Factors are the numbers that we multiply, while the product is the answer in multiplication. Now let's move in division. In division, there are four important words that I would like you to remember. The dividend, the divisor, the quotient, and the remainder. The dividend is the number that we divide. The divisor is the number that we use to divide the dividend into equal groups. Quotient is the answer, and remainder is the remaining dividend or the remaining number. There are some special cases for quotient, especially when you reached into a decimal answer. The first one is the terminating decimal number. It means that it has a definite decimal answer. While the second one is the non-terminating decimal numbers. Under non-terminating decimal numbers, there are two. The recurring decimal numbers, which is the repeated number. And the second one is the non-recurring decimal numbers. A non-recurring decimal numbers, it doesn't follow any pattern of the number. It will be an infinite. Non-terminating decimal numbers, in short, these are the infinite answers in the division. Let us proceed into our example. First, I will be applying a partial product. A partial product is a way of distributing the numbers. 2 multiply 23. First, find an addends that will be equal to 23. Simple technique here is you can use a base 10. So I will be using 20 plus 3 because 20 plus 3 will be equal to 23. And then multiply it by 2. 2 multiply 20 will give you 40. 2 multiply 3 will give you 6. So 40 plus 6 will be 46. Another way on how to multiply these factors is using models. Remember the long long which is equal to 10 and the small cube small cube which is equal to 1 so let us group 23 into two equal groups so 23 will give you 1 2 longs and 1 2, 3 ones. So since it will be multiplied by two groups, make another set. Another two longs and another three ones. Now, simply add the ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you have six ones. Let us count and add the tens. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you have 4 tens. So 40 plus 6 will give you 46. 
Now, this time, let us do division. One important rule in division is to divide the first digit first. Look at the first digit. If the first digit can be divided to your divisor, we have to find a number that is exact or near to your dividend. First digit is 8. 8 divided by 4. In order for you to get an exact or near number, you have to find the five, first 5 multiples of your divisor. 4 multiply 1 will give you 4. 4 multiply 2 will give you 8. 4 multiply 3 will give you 12. 4 multiply 4 will give you 16. And 4 multiply 5 will give you 20. So since there is an exact answer, exact number, we can use the table 2 to multiply by 4 to get 8. Now let us proceed into subtraction. Another way to solve this is to use a repeated subtraction. You can subtract your dividend to your divisor. 8 minus 4 is 4. As long as your Difference can still be subtracted to your divisor, don't stop. 4 minus 4 will give you 0. So how many times did we subtract 8 from 4? So it was 2 times. Now let's continue. Then bring down 4. 4 divided by 4, again we do have 4 in table 4. So we can use that number. And that number is 1. Then proceed to multiplication and proceed to subtraction. Then bring down 6. Look at the multiples of 4. Do we have 6 in table 4? So since we don't have 6 in table 4, find the number that is less than 6. A number that is less than the 6 is 4, so we can use another 1 to multiply to 4. So 1 multiply 4 is 4. Then proceed to subtraction. 6 minus 4 is 2. Bring down 8. Now, since the first 5 multiple doesn't contain the 28, we can proceed to another last 5 multiples of 4. So we do have multiply by 6, multiply by 7, multiply by 8, multiply by 9, multiply by 10. You can extend until to the 10 multiples of your divisor. 4 multiply 6 is 24, 28 for 7, 32 for 8, 36 for 9, and 40 for 10. Do we have 28 in table 4? Yes, yes, we have. And that is by table 7. So use that number 7 to multiply by 4 so that you will get 28. Then proceed to subtraction. 28 minus 28 is 0. So the exact answer here is 2117. There is another way on how you're going to check if your answer is correct. By simply multiplying your quotient to your divisor. So 7 multiply 4 is 28. 8 down carry up 2. 4 multiply 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 multiply 1 is 4. 4 multiply 2 is 8. So if your product is the same with the number in your dividend, the answer is correct. Our students, don't stop learning, discovering new things, and at the same time, enjoying what you are learning. Always remember, when you study hard, you will get a better result. Thank you for listening, 
and see you in the next lesson. Have a